Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Drew Tozer is a former energy auditor and the author of a new book called Feel Good Homes, a guide to choosing the right heat pump for your home. He now works with an HVAC company because he found that the only weakness with heat pumps is not the technology, but a lack of public and HVAC company education about how heat pumps work and can be properly installed. So, it's not ironic that that same week, Steve, a CKUA listener, contacted me because he was having problems getting good advice and a company to install a heat pump in his home. Yeah, so my name is Drew Tozer. Um, I run the front end of an HVAC company near Toronto called uh, Foundry Heat Pumps. I'm also the author of a book uh, called Feel Good Homes, which is kind of a short and concise and actionable guide for electrification. I came into the HVAC industry for climate reasons. Um, I think every HVAC com company is a climate company. I, I, whether they want to be called that or not, I think is a, a different conversation. Um, and my goal has always been to help heat pumps um, reach the mass market. As an energy advisor, Drew would create electrification roadmaps for homeowners, including the use of an energy efficient heat pump. Like you'll, you'll give that direction to a homeowner and they'll go to an HVAC contractor and they'll give the opposite advice. And so this was my way of owning that entire process so that I can have those conversations with homeowners and then help them actually do the work not only are heat pumps efficient, this is the biggest thing homeowners can do to reduce emissions, and when combined with solar, they gain energy independence as well. Furnaces and resistance electric heat, they are capped at 100% efficiency. That's as much as you can do because that's just a measure of all the, all the energy that you're putting in, it all got converted into heat. Um, whereas heat pumps, whether that's air source heat pumps or ground source heat pumps over kind of an entire winter, it ends up being 300%, 250%, 400% efficient. And that just means that for every one unit of energy that goes into the system, three or four units of energy of heat is being added to the house. It turns out HVAC folks have been prescribing oversized equipment using rules of thumb, and this has led to air quality and other issues in the home. In his book, Feel Good Homes, Drew says by right-sizing a heat pump and choosing the right equipment to accompany it, you can solve many of the issues. He even explains a framework for doing this in the book. The big framework that the book covers, because um, I love frameworks, in the book it's called Haven, H-A-V-E-N. So that's the five important, most important considerations for your home about how to solve those problems. So H is heating load. It's how much heat or cooling your house needs um, for heating. It's how much how much heat your house needs on a cold winter morning, one of the coldest days of the year. A is air leakage. Um, so that's a conversation about kind of the building envelope and how your house actually performs. V is value mindset. So it is thinking about the target outcomes, the target results that we're going after. What's the value of solving those problems in your homes? Um, if you're always focused on the lowest, cheapest input, you're not going to get a good output. You're just going to get the cheapest equipment. E is environmental control. So it's the picking a system that controls the indoor environment um, and it goes into kind of what that means including indoor air quality and then n is a very important one it's necessary infrastructure so the system the heat pump the hvac that you get in your house needs to fit within the infrastructure that's there or you need to upgrade it understanding your heating load is critical to installing the right size equipment so it runs efficiently and doesn't cause other problems we asked drew tozer can you use a heat pump in any home. Houses don't care what the heat source is. A, a BTU of heating is a BTU of heating. You just need enough heat for that house. I think the, it, the more interesting question to me is whether that's a fully electric system or whether that's a hybrid, um, which would be a heat pump and a, a gas or a propane backup furnace. That question depends on the house and the climate. Um, but the, the, the short answer is yes, any, any house can have a heat pump. Um, 
my goal is always to install the right system for the house. I think that we shouldn't install fully electric systems, fully electric heat pumps with no backups everywhere, all the time, in every kind of house. Many heat pumps are equipped with a supplementary electric heater, but some people are installing them alongside their gas furnace in what's called a hybrid system. This means you'll use the heat pump most of the time for its efficiency, but unfortunately, you still have a gas bill. These days, air source heat pumps are rated to minus 30 and even minus 35 degrees Celsius, and they don't stop working at that temperature. That was the rating temperature that they actually got a score and they keep performing past that. They just get less and less efficient as it gets colder. Out. Tozer says a heat pump is the number one thing you can do to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in your home. In Ontario, the average house emits five to 10 tons of CO2 equivalent per year. Um, we have a relatively clean grid. And so switching from a gas furnace to a heat pump is going to cut that number by 75%, by three quarters. Um, and most of the rest of it is if you electrify the water, then you're 90 to 95%. So even just the heat pump, you're going to cut it by three quarters. Tozer isn't saying don't upgrade insulation or windows, but the heat pump addresses the number one source of emissions in your home. The order that you do those depends on the house. It depends on how leaky your house is. And a big part of it is it depends on your budget. Um, if you have enough money to do a deep energy retrofit and significantly improve the performance of your house, then then great. <laughs> you should do that. Most homeowners are clearly constrained by their budget and it's you're going to get a much better impact on your house and on your carbon emissions by electrifying the house and installing a right-sized heat pump. A right-sized heat pump, says Tozer, will keep your home warm and can help improve air quality, manage humidity, and create what he calls a feel-good home. Tozer realized education is key, so he wrote the book and now works with foundry heat pumps to help consumers make good decisions. I want heat pumps in houses where the homeowner loves it and is thrilled and is gushing to their neighbors about how much they love heat pumps. I'm all, I'm very wary of anybody having a bad experience with one and then they are always much louder about that experience than a happy person. Tozer's book is very concise and easy to read. I lent my copy to my neighbor who's building a net zero home and he learned a lot. If you're considering getting a heat pump, you can get a copy of Drew Tozer's book, Feel Good Homes, for free by going to foundryheatpumps.ca. We have many videos on heat pumps, including one on my story installing a heat pump in my 2x4 walled R12 insulated cabin. The worst case scenario for a heat pump. Learn more on our blog at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.